Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 3 with Haley, and we are picking up after we left off. I've done a little bit of stuff, so let's jump in and see what's going on. Uh, last time we left off, we were trying to make bronze, so we can go ahead and make uh, a fruit juicer, fruit thingy, what kind of fruit, something. We're trying to get the apple apple juice bottle. Uh, so uh, we had, oh, apparently I turned back into cobble. Dang it. I was going to do another side on that, but I haven't got to it. But we got everything that we needed. We got uh, plenty of tin ore from going to that. So we got like one, two, three, four, almost five stacks of tin. And I've already put some in our drill grinder in here. And so we've got our pulverized tin along with our pulverized copper. And I should be able to make more bronze. So let's go ahead and get that up here. And that gives us a stack of bronze to cook up. So let's get that cooked up and we'll look and see what we're actually trying to make. I'm trying to remember, get my brain straight. Here we go. Okay, so um, let's jump back in the book. Let me do some reminders for you guys in between episodes if, in case you have been gone away or if you're watching this back to back, this will be nothing. But we're trying to open up the chicken chapter and I'm in gated progression as I say all the time, which means that there are certain recipes that are locked until I actually unlock all of these different chapters. So the reason I'm trying to get the chickens because that's the easiest way I know to make diamonds. Now, um, I actually got a comment and I did not write my comments and names down. So I'm sorry. Um, I think it's Linda. It might be Catherine, but someone mentioned in the sky resources. Remember there's a actual whole book in here about that. Um, I forgot what, what thing is in. Um, I just opened sky resources. J no, not J. Um, the sky resources there's a whole section in here for that oh gosh <laughs> did it tell me how to do it up here um because i forgot <laughs> to open the sky resources chapter uh it should tell me here hang on uh nope let's go oh, come on go to the book but yeah there's a washing machine in this thing essentially and i just gotta remember how to find that what is this under uh, G, there we go. G opens the sky yeah, guide for G. And apparently there is a washer, some kind of automatic washer and grinder in the um, Sky Resources mod. Uh, I haven't seen that, but that would be you know, a way to break down the, um, the stone that we get because we need to get automatic stone. Um, or place stone and use the grinder and you get all those different metals and that's another way to get um, the diamonds. So there's an automated way to do that apparently in the um, some want something in the sky resources category. A rock crusher and rock cleaner. Maybe that's what these are. Uh, so rock crusher auto makes a rock grind. It requires 100 RF per tick. So it requires some form of power and then it's a rock cleaner as well that automates the washing. So this requires 80 RF per tick. Uh, needs 200 millibuckets to run. I guess of water. So apparently uh, that may be oh, aqueous, aqueous concentrator and deconcentrator. Um, of course, all these require some form of power and I just have not got to the point of making power, but I'm sure there's some kind of generators we can get in here. Um, can I not make like a basic, okay, sterling, there's a decoration box, sterling generators, enhanced combustion generator, sterling generator. Uh, so I could probably, that requires an alloy smelter to even make that. Um, I don't know. So again, see again, I'm in the gated progression. There's certain things that I if, if I haven't learned anything about the mod, I can't make it. There's a combustion generator, but again, that requires unfamiliar items, so I can't even make that. Uh, simple sterling generator. Let's see. That's not a familiar item. I can't make that either. So uh, I think I'm kind of stuck. With what I have, because there's certain things that are just not open yet. So, with the rock grinder, unless there's another way to get power in the sky resources that I haven't learned yet, uh, we're kind of stuck on that. But anyway, uh, we're trying to make apple bottom juice. So, if we go back to the uh, chapter that we need, so we're trying to complete this bees one, so we can go ahead and hopefully that should open up the chicken one. So, the chicken says requires bees next, and so the bees we've already did the pixie dust. We're trying to make 32 apple juice bottles. So let's look this up again. 
So we got plenty of apples. We just have to find a way to get the juice into it. So there is a bottler. We can, get, you know, once we get the juice, we can put it into a bottler. We'll figure out how to do that, hopefully sometime soon. But the apple juice, we're trying to make the fruit press. Um, so the fruit press is going to take the apples, squish them down. It doesn't look like it says it requires any power or anything, but that's going to give us an apple juice. Then we got to figure out how to get the apple juice into the bottles. But we're going to make it one thing at a time here. So uh, let's go ahead and let's see, we got the bronze. So we've got plenty of that. So let's see what the recipe is for the fruit juice thingy. Uh, the fruit press is actually a sturdy casing. So that was what we needed, uh, eight ingots, eight bronze ingots. So let's go ahead and make up the sturdy casing. And we also already made the bronze gear. So that's good to go. A sturdy casing, that is done. And then we just need to make, um, what's this thing? Four, um, yeah, four, uh, ten, four, it's hard. Uh, four tin ingots, two iron ingots, and glass. So I have extra tin here. I can go ahead and cook this up. Oh, basic casing done. I completed the quest. Love completing quests on accident. Uh, where is it? And let's be down here in the life in the forest. That's the B stuff. First quest complete. Yay, loot chest. We did a quest today, guys. <laughs> we didn't do one last time, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and cook up this pulverized tin. And let me grab a couple pieces of iron from our iron, our, our chest over here. And let's see. Well, I'm running low on iron. Um, I also have some good comments about what I can do uh, for this uh, for this particular issue here. Well, not the issue. I don't need to make four sides of that. But I could go ahead and I could have put all of this gold ore into a drawer since, you know, I had so much of it. So I actually might make an extra drawer to put it in there. For right now, I'll just put it in a chest to get it out of the way. But other drawers hold a lot more. So I'm not ignoring your comments. I just have not had time to get on here and do all the things that I wanted to do. There's four tin ingots, but yes, I like the idea. And I can actually just set up multiple of these because uh, I should, I can grind out the endstone casing now. I got plenty of ender pearls and all the other materials so I can make more of that setup. So I can pretty much have one for iron, one for gold, one for tin, one for each one of those and some kind of setup uh, just to have resources going. So I might do that if I have a little time left. So let's, okay, so let's go ahead and make the fruit press. We should have all the materials to make that. Yay. Uh, whole shift for details. So the fruit squeeze, fruit, the fruit press squeezes fruit to give various fruit juices. It can, it can be run on using power or manually by right clicking. Okay, so we don't have any kind of power. Uh, we're going to do bees. Um, I don't really have an area for bees, so... Let's just set this up here next to the, um, we'll, we'll make this area bees. I'll expand that out here. So let's put some fruit press there. So it says by clicking, uh, let's put our apples in here and so energy bar. All right. So if I just, do I just click? Oops. Nope. By clicking, clicking what? Uh, not enough power. Clicking what? Uh, do I jump on it. <laughs> Let me read it again. How's um, your mouse? The fruit press, it can, or manually by right clicking. Right clicking what? Um, right clicking, right, oh wait. Oh, okay, uh, right clicking here. Can I just hold it down? Nope, I can't hold it down. So I actually do have to squeeze all that juice out of that. Oh my gosh. So that, that gives you uh, a little bit of juice. So that is actually good. Now, here's my question. How do I get the juice out of here? <laughs> uh, let's see. Owner Haley. Yeah, that's me. Uh, and so, I know it's not power processing. Yeah, just so you can sit here and right click all day. This will hold, uh, I guess, it's 10% full. So 5,000 millibuckets of five buckets of juice. But how do I get the juice out of the fruit press? To activate hmm that's gonna be interesting okay so let's go back and look at this let's see we're trying to make apple bottom juice okay so uh looks like yeah we're gonna need some kind of bottler so how do I get 
the juice in the bottler. Now the fluid tank, I can't make that unfortunately because I need dark steel and dark steel is very difficult to make unfortunately. Um, let's see. There's the squeezer. Now I'm surprised I can't put just apples in here for that because that would make a lot more sense. If I put fruit in here, but see I need an apple juice can. How do I get an apple? Is it where I'm tinning it really? Or is that an output? Okay, yeah, that's an output. Uh, oh, huh. Let me read something real quick. Cause I'm thinking if I just, I can probably right click with the bottle. Let's see, let me see. Okay, let's try to make a bottle. I either can right click with the bottle and or right click with one of these tin, one of these things and get it in there. Okay, let's try to make a bottle first. Let's see. One, two, three, let's get three bottles. So, can I right click on here with the bottle? That would be too easy. That would be way too easy. Yes, so easy, it doesn't even work. Uh, all it does is open it up. Uh, can I shift right click on it? No, okay, so that doesn't work. Man, it'll take a long time to get all the juice that I need. Uh, Cause I need 32, buck 32 buckets worth to get that. Uh, the other option I'm thinking is to make these things, apple juice cans. So I can make the apple juice cans, can hold hot liquids, apple juice capsules, apple juice cans. Which one's easier to make? Uh, well, okay, how do I make, hmm. Okay, beeswax. So well, that's going to be difficult. Or, da 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 da, 10 ingots. Okay, let's try that. And if you guys are screaming at me in the comment section, I know, I'm sorry, I don't know, but hopefully I will know before the next episode because you guys are going to tell me what I'm doing wrong. All right, so let's try. Um, and it probably even says in the quest book. Maybe I should just go along with the quest line. If this doesn't work, we're going to look in the quest book and follow some instructions. So I'm thinking possibly if I right click with this, it doesn't work either. Can I? Yeah, how do you get this stuff out of the door? I don't know what I mean. I know it is not enough power, but it's got plenty of juice. All right, well, we're gonna go along through the book and maybe it'll tell us how to actually do this. So we did this dirty casing. So is there anything that's probably going to benefit, benefit, automatic squeezing, hey. All right, let's make a squeezer. We're gonna make a squeezer and see if that works. Uh, so we're gonna make a squeezer, squeezer, okay. That's probably going to require sturdy casing, 10 ingots, and, and some glass. Okay, so we can make that. We got the 10 ingots. We just need to make sturdy casing, which requires bronze. Everything's going to require sturdy casing. So that's why we're going to need a lot of bronze, which is why we got a lot of tin over there. So we are good to go on that. Uh, we're going to make a squeezer. There we go. And get a little ding-a-ling. There we go. And let's set this down over here. And see see what this does we're just gonna set it we'll keep everything kind of facing this direction um let me go ahead and claim that quest loot chests we're gonna get and that really didn't open anything let's read this though the squeezer uses power from squeezing certain items it uses power what can you squeeze my apples can you squeeze my apples into apple juice Give me, give me some of those. Uh, let's see. Uh, no power. How do I get power? Is there a power thing in the B mod? There is. Engines. Requires peat. Okay. All right. So, yes, there are these engines. Can I just make those? I forgot about these little guys. Yes. So there's peat fire engines, there's clockwork engines, which should be relatively easy to make. So let's get the clockwork engines going. Uh, and I can show you kind of how to do that. So I know that quest isn't open yet, but I'm kind of, kind of skipping ahead. Uh, well, let's see. Peat can be used as full. By putting bog earth around water, it'll slowly, slowly turn into peat. How do you make bog earth? We're going to try to do it in order. Bog earth uh, is just dirt and sand with some water okay so let's go ahead and do that let's grab a thing of water uh do i have any dirt 
Yeah, do I actually have any dirt? If not, I'll just pick this up over here because I need four pieces of dirt. So let's get, change it out with four pieces of cobble here. And I should have sand. If not, it's easy enough to make. So let's grab, uh, get the torch out of the way. Go away. One, two, three. Wait a minute. It should be magnet. It should be coming to me. There we go. Let's replace that with cobblestone. Come on. There we go. And then we're going to try to see if we have any sand sitting over here. Got a bucket of water, so I want to. Uh, looks like I don't have any sand. I got snad. You know, can you turn snad back into sand? That'd be really cool. Okay, let's get four pieces of sand. So I gotta turn this into gravel. Where is my uh, uh, my my sticky thingy? My rock grinder. There we go. Is it the rock grinder? Yeah. One, two, three, four. So that turns it into gravel. We'll turn that into sand. And we're going to do this the right way that we can. Because uh, I want to make that engine. That's going to be really cool to use. Alright. And now I think this is coarse dirt. So I have to turn it back into regular dirt. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Oops. Yeah, just break it. Alright, there we go. Now, let's go ahead and make the bog, and then we're going to read what it says to how to make peat. Okay, let's get that. Bog earth complete. And how did it say to make peat? Uh, by putting bog earth around water, it can slowly turn into peat. All right, well, let's, uh, put, let's make a little area over here. Uh, we'll actually just make a little three does it have to be completely surrounded by water we're about to find out okay so let's make an area here uh we want it to be a three by three essentially i'm gonna put the torches back don't worry just need to make an area big enough for uh, the bog to somehow turn into peat oh hey sheep bye sheep put you back in my inventory all right let's put that there we're gonna put i think we just need one piece of peat give me that Okay, and then, oh yeah, my lamp's on. Uh, let's see, I need water. Where's my, oh, did I take my bucket? Oh, I took my bucket for the recipe, but I got an extra bucket. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and make some peat. I'm guessing. I'll put it in the wrong spot. I know, I put it in the wrong spot. Sorry. Um, I, I, this is what it said. It says surrounded by that. Okay, it's got a maturity on it of three of zero percent. So does it just it wait till it gets a hundred percent? I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode when that happens. Uh, meanwhile, okay, that turns into fuel. So this is actually pretty good. P can be used as fuel or can be smelted into ash. So we have to wait for that one for this one actually opens up. But we're going to go ahead and make one of the engines now before we uh, end the episode. I want to see the percentage change. Hmm, it doesn't change. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the engine. Okay, so we're going to make the easiest engine. It's a clockwork engine. It generates a small amount of RF. Uh, right click to wind up, or I think I can use a lever. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so I need a copper gear, which copper gears is just copper surrounded by iron. Not that hard to make. A clock is just gold surrounded by redstone. Easy enough to make. And a piston, which is all that. So <laughs> if you don't want to make a piston by now, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll show it here in a second. Let's grab some iron and some gold and some redstone and some cobblestone. Actually, I need that. Let's grab some cobble because we need to make that piston. All right. So, oh. There's my bucket. It did not use it. Yay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make a clock. Real easy to make. Come here, sheep. You go there. Uh, just need one clock. Don't need eight clocks. Don't be, don't be greedy. Uh, let's go ahead and make a copper gear. I did not pick up any copper. Ah, copper gear. <laughs> let's see. One, two, three, four. I'll just grab all that. Oh, I had copper in my inventory. Oh, my goodness. My eyes are... YouTuber blindness is real, guys. It's so bad. Okay. Let's go make a copper gear. Why is the book in there? You go, go there. Uh, redstone, you go up here too. Because uh, everything in that top slot ends up up here. So I've got one copper gear and now let's make a piston really quick. Uh, make sure I'm clicking. There, one piston is all I need. And now we can make this guy. Really? Seriously? 
together. All right, so we have a clockwork engine. Uh, the clockwork engine, if I put next to the squeezer, let's see, I think this is the way it works. I'm going to actually, this can't work, no power. Well, we have good power to it. There we go. Now, if I just right click on this, see how it turns from green to orange to eventually red, it'll start putting power into this. Now, it uses a little bit of power. Aha, we're squeezing the apple into apple juice. Oh, it's just making fruit juice. I don't want fruit juice, I want apple juice. <sighs> well, but if I knew how to make, okay, let's, we'll figure this out. Because it says in a bottle, the apple juice. I can get apple juice into a squeezer by squeezing an apple juice can, which is two kinds. There's a capsule and a can, or this third kind, which is a different kind of capsule. So if I put that in a squeezer, so how do I get the apple juice? Apparently from a bottler. How do I get it in the bottler? How do I get the apple juice in the bottle? Okay, so we're gonna have to work figure that out between episodes. Right now we're getting some fruit juice. Fruit juice is good. I think I can put this in there. Okay, so it's giving me fruit juice cans. What are you used for? Apparently, oh, I can make a bottler. Okay, cool, I need that. Okay, so I need, what I need four of those. Uh, not bad. Um, so we'll work on that in between episodes. Hopefully we'll get our peat uh, ready to go in the next episode as well. So I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you are enjoying. This is still not mature. I don't know what to do. I want to figure all this out. You guys are going to comment and tell me what I'm doing wrong. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode and are enjoying the series. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, techniques, or just want to say hi, do that comment down below because you guys' feedback is totally awesome. If you are new to my channel, feel free to go hit the subscribe button. Show me some love by clicking the like as well. If you want to hang out with me and the other squad members, you can do so by becoming a Patreon. Uh, the Patreon link is listed down below. You can uh, become, you can enjoy all the rewards of a Patreon, such as hanging out with us on the Squad Pack Mod Pack server when we stream live on the weekends, or you know, hang out with us on Discord and just chit chat. You know, say hi, do things like that. Uh, if you're looking for a server to play on, be sure to head on over to Host Havoc. Host Havoc is what the squad uses for all of their multiplayer series, as well as you know, some people that have some solo series. You know, you want to keep the server up and running to keep keep your bottler going or your cobblestone generator going or whatever, get a server over by Host Havoc. They are totally awesome. Use the link down below so they'll know where you came from. Uh, if you want to hang out with us, like I said, consider becoming a Patreon. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch to be notified when I do go live over on Twitch. All those links are listed down below, so be sure to use them all. Um, I'm going to just stop now because I've got to figure out how to get the juice into the bottler. Hopefully, I'll figure that out and hopefully figure out how long it takes for Pete to turn into, uh, or Bog to turn into Pete. Hopefully, we'll know this soon. <laughs> so, until next time, guys, I will talk to y'all later. So, have a good one, guys. Bye.